Hello and welcome back to Game Time with Drew. Today we are taking a look at the game Contempt. This game was made over the course of nine weeks as a university project by a computer graphics artist. I'm not sure what the name would be, but let's just dive right in. Okay. Directional sound is a bit wonky. But the graphics look fantastic. Based off what I'm seeing on the store page, all of these graphics should be made specifically for the game. Rather than how half the indie games you find nowadays use stock assets for things. Oh, sweet. A key. Um, can we take any of the rest of this? I mean, this is a horror game. I'd like me a pair of hedge clippers, maybe an axe. That sledgehammer looks pretty nice. Something to defend myself. Even this rake would be acceptable. Okay, never mind. I want that. I want that odd-looking scythe. I think that's supposed to be a scythe. I guess it would be a scythe, not a scythe in this case. They're spelled the same, I just don't know if you have to pronounce them differently depending on the context. Right. I'm guessing that key will go to this house if we can find a door. Oh, there it is. I don't know. I don't know if I even use the key. Can we close it? Aha! I can close it behind me. Okay, this house clearly hasn't been lived in in a while. That is one massive spider web back here. No handle on this door, not going through here. Now, I'm gonna guess this is either a photograph taken by the dev or a photograph found somewhere. Because if that is drawn, wow, that's fantastic. Um can't come on let me use the phone just want to order a pizza okay definitely not been lived in, in a while if the windows are boarded up um not sure what those wires are can't get in there wait there's no slot for a key all right fair enough dishes need done even though they look clean. Like, they don't look clean, but they don't look like they've been eaten off of. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if there's anything I can pick up around here. Hopefully you guys can't hear that my dog is barking on another floor of my house. My mic should be low enough in sensitivity right now that it shouldn't pick it up. Okay, let's go down this way. Can't go in there. I don't want to go upstairs just yet. Like, I'm not trying to wuss out on going upstairs. But I want to finish exploring this floor first. Nice, nice cockroaches. Those, those are some brave cockroaches. They are not afraid of me in the slightest. They're just running past my feet. Oh. Jeez, that is bright. I do like how when you look at that and it's super bright, everything else is darker. I don't know if that's just because of the flashlight not shining on everything else or because it, it, it emulates being blinded by a bright light quite well, actually. For people not living here right now, that's an abundant amount of toilet paper. And a very weird toilet seat. You have to have quite a wide ass to fit on that. But, you know, I'm not going to judge your toilet. Whomever owns this house. Um, did we explore this floor entirely yet? Still can't go in there. Oh, is there anything? Okay, let's go upstairs. Take a quick peek. Oh. 
My flashlight doesn't work. I see a red light. Let's go look at it. What's over here? Oh, so that's what was behind this door. Now it has a handle. Some coats. That is... That is a crazy looking breaker box. I don't know if it's like... Normal? That's not what mine looks like at least. It's a lot simpler. Oh, the store's open now. That's the that's the clock. Gave me a bit of a spook. It's on channel three. So they were watching. Oh. Oh. It's playing something. I guess that's it? Can we... <laughs> oh. I love these copyright safe names. Oh, there's my favorite. Easter instead of Halloween. I don't know, Hobo Cop is pretty good. <laughs> uh. can't crouch. <laughs> I want to see Hobo Cop now. <laughs> that could be interesting. My flashlight works now. Okay, that's interesting. So, the, I guess the fuse to the house tripped? Or... I, I guess maybe the antagonist of this game turned off the main breaker and somehow that disabled my flashlight. Alright. Note for the future for this protagonist if he appears in any other games. No idea who I am, I have no legs, but... Don't bring a flashlight that relies on the power source of the house. <laughs> A flashlight is meant to run on battery, so no matter the situation, you can use it. Oh. So I can't make a call, but you can call me. I see how it- I see how it is. I figured out who the antagonist of this game is. It's the half-slinging slasher. There isn't green slime coming from the walls, though. A quick overview. Things, things seem to change slightly. And TV, you're sure we can't watch Hobo Cop? Come on, that's that sounds wonderful. Let let's just turn this like playthrough into a movie watching experience and watch Hobo Cop together. <laughs> I wonder if the bathroom changed. There's new noise in here, I think. <laughs> directional noises odd let's take a peek upstairs can't go in there let's hug the right wall hey what's this I wonder if that's an excerpt from... Oh, 
Okay. Not drawing the connection between the video I saw and that. There's someone upstairs. Or something. Can't open that. I've looped back around, I think. There's no sprint. But I guess it's not exactly a massive house, so that's fine. Can't even try to open that. I'm going here now. I was hoping I could open that. I want to see who's upstairs. Okay, I'm trapped. And it's dark. Oh, this time when the power goes out, my flashlight works. You, sir, have the most unreliable flashlight on the planet. Come in. Sorry, mate. Um, trying to let you in. Where'd you go? I opened the door for you. Eh, guess he's shy. What's in here? There's clearly something under this blanket. <laughs> uh, nice bit of clipping. It's okay though. <laughs> uh, clipping. What is all this wire? Is this like phone line? Doesn't even go to the phone. It's kind of. Why was it ran over here? It runs over here, then runs back out that way and doesn't lead anywhere over here. Unless the rug is like an electric rug. It's kind of cool. Like a heated rug? I'd, I'd buy a heated rug and a. Ooh! That's a shadow. Hey! Looky there! And go up there. Okay. Flashlight doesn't work again. Got more roaches. Can cans of spam, I'm guessing. Copyright free spam though, because it doesn't have a label. It's just potted meat. Ominous fog? You know. Cause every attic has to have ominous fog. Any oh, I can't see if there's any awesome movie titles in there. Seriously, I really want to see um, Hobo Cop. It's an odd layout. Okay. Let's, let's venture a guess. That is rope creaking. Something is going to be on a rope. Something's going to be hanging. I'm just venturing a guess here. Or not. Oh, there it is. Hi there. Hello. Oh, you're moving. I'm back outside. My flashlight doesn't work. The door won't open. I guess we go back to the car. What's over here? Darkness. No. All right. That was contempt. Okay, thoughts on the game. Um, it was definitely enjoyable. I would like to see slightly a bit more robust 
options menu, but for a nine week project, this is super well made. Because, like, as I'm reading, I've got the store page open on my other monitor, and I can see, like, specifically the line. The production time of the game was nine weeks with everything produced except sound and music. So every bit of art was produced by the dev of this game. Fantastic game for that for that time constraint. Fantastic. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and you have a fantastic day. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.